All right, first off, if you guys are wondering why I'm wearing a headset, it's because I don't have an actual microphone. And the microphone on my phone isn't sensitive enough to pick up my voice without me shouting. So this is the best I can do. Give me a break. This is not some video that says, oh, recent research done by a team of kindergartners at Bologna University has shown that, you know, fasting and exercising has been shown to increase, you know, lipolysis and triglyceride usage and beta fatty acid oxidation and blah, 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 blah. No. If you want to see videos like that, go watch Connor Murphy, go watch Greg O'Gallagher, or some guys like that. What I'm going to talk about in this video are some actual benefits from fasted morning workouts that have worked for me personally. All right, now what is probably the most common reason and or excuse that people give for not working out is that, well, they simply don't have enough time. Let me know if this, this routine sounds familiar to you. You get up in the morning, you eat breakfast, you take a shower, you go to work, you have maybe an hour for lunch, not quite enough time to get to the gym and back for most people. You get off work, you, you go get some groceries, you go home, you cook some dinner, help the kids out with homework, and then, you know, you do some dishes, but by the time you're, you're done with everything, it's like nine o'clock at night and you gotta go to bed in half an hour and you're just too tired to work out and there's not enough time left in the day. Right. By working out first thing in the morning, you're making absolutely sure that you are getting your workout in no matter what happens for the rest of your day. You won't be going through your day like, oh man, you know, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to work out today. You know why? Because you already did it. You already worked out today. So you don't have to worry about it. another reason for working out in the morning is that it'll help you to wake up. Now, what I mean by this is most of us feel pretty sleepy still when we wake up in the morning. We get up and go to the kitchen and we drink like five cups of coffee with a hundred tablespoons of sugar, right? Which isn't very good for you. But if you skip that part and just go straight to exercising instead, I can almost guarantee that you're going to feel awake when your heart rate shoots up and your blood starts pumping. You're going to feel very awake, trust me. Now you may be wondering, okay, yeah, work out in the morning, sure, but why fast it? Why does it have to be fasted, John? Why can't I eat anything? Well, let me tell you, you don't actually have to be fasted, okay? If you're somebody who can eat food and then immediately start exercising, then go for it. But for most people, it's easier to work out and exercise when you don't have a ton of food on your stomach. If you try to work out immediately after any decent sized meal, basically, you're gonna feel sluggish, you might feel nauseous, and heaven forbid, you might throw up. <laughs> yeah which is not good. Now, all of these things obviously have a negative impact on the effectiveness of your workout, right? If you're, if you're trying to work out and you're feeling nauseous and you're throwing up, chances are you're going to cut your workout short and you're probably not going to want to work out ever again. So by working out before eating breakfast, you greatly reduce your risk of experiencing these bad things. Now, granted, if, if you're working out fasted, chances are you're probably going to feel hungry, right? But trust me, in my personal experience, once I finish my warm up and I start getting my heart rate going, I don't really feel that hunger anymore. Okay. Now I could go into all the anatomy and scientific details and physiology behind the, the parasympathetic nervous system and how that kind of gets swept under the rug once the sympathetic nervous system for exercise takes over. But that's, that's a whole nother discussion that I'm not really going to get into right now. So j just take my word for it. All right. Anyway, so after you're done working out, eat your breakfast, which will now also double as your post-workout meal. Two birds with one stone, right? So now you don't have to worry about quickly finding something to eat after your workout to get some food in you. But just make sure it's an actual breakfast and not just a, a Pop-Tart and a cup of coffee, okay? Now, what, what is an actual breakfast, you may ask? Well, again, that's a whole nother discussion I'm not really going to get into right now, but just try to make sure it has some good quality protein and some good quality carbohydrates. All right. Now, with all of this being said, keep in mind that if you already have a routine of working out that works for you, and chances are you should probably keep doing it. My advice in this video is mostly for those who are struggling to find a way to fit exercise into their daily life without it interfering with other responsibilities in their life. Okay. So again, I'm not saying, oh, you should switch to fasted morning workouts because that's the best. No, it's just, it, it can't help you if you're struggling to find a way to fit exercise into your day. All right. Okay. That'll just about do it for this video. Hopefully I helped some of you. If you have any questions then leave them in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram. I will answer to the best of my ability. Okay. I'm, I'm not some being that has all the answers in the universe, but I, I will answer to the best of my ability, uh, assuming that I don't get a billion questions because I can't answer everyone. All right. Well, I guess 
that'll do it. I'll see you guys later.